cats. Knock. Great, it's all gone wrong. <laughs> Soul Shredder, thanks for the five months. Ugba Mushu to you as well. I think that we start by going to this store in this act, and there are a few things we can do from there. Probably I will want to go through this elite campfire, probably hallway fight to get this campfire, and then probably an elite at the end. But not necessarily. I could also go this way. It's a bit of a safer act, and then maybe die to Hexaghost. Quit one thing for the 13 months, I'll go Mushu to you as well. What a sellout. Yup. 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 I'm gonna grab a curse and obtain a rare card. An immolate. Okay, is there something like more ambitious that I can do? Not really? Not really. I think we still go the same way. Thanks for Twitch Prime. Just caught your first ever shiny. Good work, Sarah. Immolate Carnage? That's a lot of damage. Cultist Potion. We do not need a Wild Strike at this point of our run. Removing a Clums... Strike? Probably Clumsy. Strikes are still okay at this point in the game. Is that a sound of Carnage? It is. That's the sound that Carnage makes. I think I like Armaments. Armaments, if it's in the same hand as Immolate or Carnage, actually deals a ton of damage at the moment. Also Bash. Upgrading Bash is a lot of damage too. I think it does more damage than Pummel Strike almost. Probably slightly less, but not that much less. And obviously a Blocks as well. The Spot Weakness, take the card remove. We did that. We couldn't have afforded bronze scales, right? That's 115, 144 gold in this store. Yeah, I would have taken bronze scales over that if I could have. Not even the six months. I'll boom show to you as well. I'm gonna go ahead and probably hold the cultist potion to make sure I get through hexaghost. Okay. Seems like the best way to use that potion. I think I could have blocked there and saved a couple of health. Okay. We take Reaper. How's it going as a Roni? Hey, Sir Doom Lord. Hey, Alex Gleon. Yeah, I put the stream live with it saying that I was playing Baba's U, which is, you know, my bad. Whoops. Bash upgrade? Immolate upgrade. I have three very important upgrades right now. It might be so important that I actually, even though I can kill an elite, I take a campfire instead. Bash, Carnage, and Immolate all need to be upgraded, though. They're just so much damage. I think maybe I go Immolate first. A 
I'd like to upgrade spot weakness too. I'm just gonna wet stone. Soya's about upgrading armaments doesn't do very much. What am I gonna do? Play armaments and then play Carnage and Immel? Wait, what am I gonna do after I play armaments that makes it a better upgrade than just upgrading the Carnage that I'm gonna play? This deals 31, this Immolate I'm about to draw. Imperio, how are you today? And I guess for our next trick, we draw Reaper here. Draw Reaper here. Um. Damn it. 70 if I am. I don't know. I think we just take it. Could have sat there a while and worked out exactly whether passing the turn gave us more health on average or not, but I think it didn't with how few defends we had and how many dazes we had. Grab a shockwave or grab an anger. I'm gonna go shockwave. The one thing we don't have right now is relics that do anything whatsoever. I'm going to remove a strike here, even though the upgrades are very good. I just have, you know, very, very, very good damage cards in my deck, so I want to get rid of my strikes. Shuriken barely ever procs at the moment. Could get strong later. What about Maw Bank? Or got what about Maw Bank? Ouch. Can we grab an anger now? Eh. I would prefer to wait until after my boss reward before I take an anger, I think. I guess if it gets offered to me now I'll take it. Should be fine, nothing wrong with a shrug here, and I'm gonna take the elite. We got a ton of health. Ceramic fish rare, so we don't pick it up as often. The reverse nunchaku treatment. Don't think I want a heavy blade right now. Don't really want a second shock wave either. Where'd we get Reaper? I think from Gremlin Knob or something. I 
gonna be a bit of a rough fight. situation where I gain health on average by ending turn, but maybe if I go to, like, if I draw the worst possible hand, I go to... ...36 here, I think? When I heal 6, I probably still wouldn't have to rest for Hexaghost. I don't know. Did I have Shrug in my hand? Could I have Shrugged for Reaper? Whoops. Uh, we take Battle Trance over Fire Breathing with the amount of damage we have and the Ritual Potion get us through this fight. And with so much strength, we really want Vulnerable, I believe. Immolate seems so ridiculously OP. It's a very, very, very strong card. Aka! Do I upgrade the strike or play the strike? Or upgrade like the shrug? Probably just upgrade the shrug, given that I'm getting plus one strength every turn. to burn with armaments. I cannot. The only way that burns ever upgrade, in fact the only way that any status upgrade, any status card ever upgrades, is if Hexaghost upgrades the burns, which happens on turn 7 of this fight, on 7 or 8. My cultist now. I'm interested by the word now in that question. Alright. I see. It's getting a little bit closer than I wanted it to be, but we should almost always win this turn. Certainly would have been in trouble without the potion there. The only thing here is, do we want a Juggernaut or not the other cards? Well, Brutality is not that bad, actually. Brutality might be good here. Juggernaut is interacting with nothing, really. No Relics to give block, no Metallicize. No Potion that interacts with that. No Feel No Pain. Not a very good juggernaut. How's it going, Powie? Wound plus. Wound plus doesn't exist, right? Like, there isn't a Wound Plus anywhere in the game code, I don't believe. It's sort of weird that there is a Burn Plus. Probably Hexaghost was built pretty early in the game's development, and the devs were, like, still thinking that there would be upgraded status cards, and then never, you know, actually made upgraded statuses for the other status cards. It's like a brutality. I think it's like okay. 
I'm not going to go further than that, but I think it's okay. Go Choker. I don't have an offering. I do have a Battle Trance, but I think we can go Choker. With all these two-cost attacks, it seems really important to have four energy. Would Master Reality upgrade burns from Immolate? I'm not sure. Maybe. It does seem like it probably should. Are we really good at Act 2 Elite fights? I think we're only okay at them. I think Book of Stabbing in particular is not actually that good a fight for us. So let's not like go for the super elite here, but we can take a few. I like this path on the right. Probably going to a store is going to be good. We're going to have like 500 gold by the time we get there, just about. Seems like a roundabout time to take advantage of that. proposed are less interesting after the ascension that makes bosses poorer. I'm not entirely sure what that means. I haven't played the game without that ascension for uh, a very, 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 very long time though, so... Probably my answer is just like, I don't know. I don't believe I can kill here. It's um 25 damage, so we're three short if I played all of the attacks. And there's no way for spot weakness to increase my damage or anything. So I could go... I guess just armaments on Shrug and then Shrug. Gives me enough block and then we can... I guess just strike twice. Maybe draw Reaper? Not block for enough. Guess we're out of here. Slime was introduced later and replaced wound in some fight. In the slime boss fight, right? I think I remember when slimes were introduced to the game. So now we're in a weird spot with anger. I sort of want it to proc shuriken, but I do have a choker. I feel like it's okay for this act. By the time we get to next act, it might not be so great, but I feel like it's okay for this act. Just confirm that I can't kill one of these. Inspire facts. Carnage sounds like it should knock a bird out of the sky. Like, there are actually things in this game that care about how many times an attack deals damage. It's a bit weird that an attack that deals damage once sounds like it attacks, like, six times. Not sure how I feel about that.
Hey, guy right, yeah. Yeah, Bye. Hey, Dread Turkey. You've got into the heart nine times in a row. Regen pot seems helpful here. Heavy blades. Like, something to think about. I think I've been offered three of them so far this round. I still don't really feel convinced I can be taking those. Pommel strike, anger. I do make nine gold if I take pommel strike. Nope. Getting jaxed is pretty okay with um, Reaper. Another zero cost card. Transforming two strikes, also okay. Mutagen's also okay, they're all fine. Transforming two cards gives me 18 gold as well. Jax gives me 9 gold as well. <laughs> I'm just going to go with a 3 strength on turn 1. Sort of short of powers, aren't we? They're like metallicizes or feel no pains. Feels a little bit tough to block sometimes in this run. This really doesn't help. Unless I wanted a second shockwave, maybe. Maybe that's actually okay. No, I don't think it is. The problem is if I draw two shockwaves, the second one's just a completely dead card most of the time. All right, it's a good moment to be offered a membership card, I would say. Um, there's no cap on gold. It's possible to create infinite loops, actually, to get as much gold as you want. Yeah, so we always click on this. We are, I think, always clicking on that as well. Wonder if we take the five decks to beat Champ. Can't you use this out of combat? Can. Um. My cat snoring. Oh my god. I rally you. It's Otter, how are you? Mioja.
do it <laughs> quietly enough. Rough luck. Um, what's going on? I'm deciding between the artifact pot over the skill pot, the spot weakness, the shrug. I can't get the membership card anymore. Let's go spot weakness again and take this. And upgrade... Probably? Carnage? I think Carnage. Why didn't I buy Metallicize? Because I bought all of the other things. Didn't have enough gold at the end to buy Metallicize. Cost too much. Alright. It's a rough turn one. Weekend, which is sort of rude. <laughs> Jin fizzes. I don't feel like I've made many decisions in this fight. We could have like our 17th shockwave. I've been offered a lot of those. Evolve seems like an okay card to have. Take an evolve. I like question marks a lot here because Necronomicon's so good. Is that... Necronomicon's not very likely. Is that unreasonable? I don't like bites. I don't like apparitions really here. Maybe that's unreasonable. Hey, Re. Deep Chef, thanks for the eight months. Songba Mushu to you as well. We do like Arena, and Arena can show up in the second half of Act 2. Alright, I think that's a decent tiebreaker. And we actually like this one quite a bit too. Simplicity is not so great because all of our strikes are already upgraded. It's okay. <laughs> uh, I think I'm pervious. I think start upgrading spot weakness. Friend of yours, a developed prison architect. Cool. Am I going to the store? Sort of like paying 150 gold for card remove because of membership card.
I don't know if I'm going to the store right now, though, and I wouldn't mind getting rid of a strike for the chump fight. Is that true, Jin Fizzos? That's unfortunate. I think it's too much gold. Even given what gold is able to do for us this run, it seems like a lot of gold. So as long as Book of Stabbing's weakened Tori is sort of insane. Make this fight pretty easy. Flower seems pretty good in the deck with Strength Gain and Reaper. Sword Boomerang seems like a card I should probably be taking at some point. I think we've reached the point where it's time to take that. I'm gonna go for Art of Iron over Speed Potion, I think. Keep the Artifact Pot, but I actually think Heart of Iron's like... Oh yeah, so Art of Iron's probably not quite as good as having plus 5 dexterity for the entire champ fight, which is what I could have used both my potions for, but if I use Heart of Iron this way, I get to keep my Artifact Pot. I think Heart of Iron plus keeping an Artifact Pot is probably a bit better. Maybe not a ton better, but probably a bit better. Red Skull, Penib, Disarm... Red Skull and Penneb are both pretty strong. I think Red Skull is slightly stronger. Disarm's very strong. Why is Heart of Iron so much better than Essence of Steel? I have no idea. It is much better than Essence of Steel, though. Like, a lot better. I've wondered that myself. That's true, I could use my Ancient Potion to get plus 3 strength in this fight if I wanted. Do not think I currently want, though. Totter, please. I just started to forget. I can't believe you've done this. Like, I don't think I need to keep Carnage. I don't know. Maybe I do. That's a really good turn. That's a really good turn. Probably 
probably worth playing Anger at this point. It's giving me a point of strength, and we're starting to get toward the point where I want to be playing more and more attacks. Sorry, chat. Okay, we'll leave the fight with max HP. Maybe I didn't need to use my potion. Offering is sort of hard to take right now with Choker. Maybe we take it anyway. It is a lot worse with Choker than without Choker. Uh, Bludgeon's not very good because we have so much strength stuff going on. Double tap's okay. Double tap's actually okay here. Double tap immolate's good sometimes. Double tap reaper is good other times. Only two cards out of 23 though. And I feel like the rest of the time that I draw double tap with something is pretty terrible. Especially since it's... um. It means that playing two cards counts as playing three cards for Choker, so. This might be a skip. I'm gonna take Offering over Skipping. I might be wrong. And I'll take a Slaver Scholar. What's the beta art for Bludgeon? I remember it being pretty good, but unfortunately I didn't read that question until it was gone, so. Have I picked a tiny house recently? Maybe. Not that I can recall, but... Having no relics that care about what turn it is is sort of nice. I think Blood for Blood is actually pretty good here. I feel like I need one more like front-loaded big attack and then blood for blood will cost zero energy fairly quickly in a lot of the longer fights. And that's probably okay too. Let's try it out. Demon form card remove? Seems good to me. Not sure if Anger or Strike Plus is the right remove. Probably Anger. Nato ah. Mang links to the Prime. Hogbum will show to you as well. Not interested in shackles. Eh. Hard to draw shackles on the right turn. Justin, thanks for the 15 months. Hanbun Mushu to you as well.
Okay. If we could draw Immolate, that would be cool. There's our Blood for Blood costing a zero. I'm gonna cap on cards this turn though. It's probably better to pay the health and draw an extra card every turn right now. Just make sure that we get the things that we need to win the fight. Next turn, I don't want to play Battle Trance because I just draw more burns. Peace Pipe seems really interesting. There are some not so great cards in the deck still. Also, I don't have a True Grit, so I feel like removing the not so great cards is better than usual. Might remove brutality actually. Shockwave seems very important. It's the only source of weak. Carnage Plus is not the best card in the deck. Maybe Carnage Plus is worse than brutality. The thing is, I'm starting to have no damage cards in my deck if I remove Carnage Plus. Seems like being able to deal any damage at all might be important against Reptimenser and stuff like that. Hey Trunks, how you doing? <laughs> Remove Carnage because it sounds scary. It's a reasonable option. Thanks for the eight months, Trunks. Ogbomusho to you as well. TPR who? Thanks for that sub. Alright, lose Carnage. Lose Brutality. I'm gonna lose Brutality. Duplicate Reaper seems pretty obvious to me. Better than duplicating Immolate or Blood for Blood or Sword Boomerang or Offering. I think so. There were some other decent options, though, I guess. Feels like it was maybe just better to bash there. I don't know. It's a pretty slow deck. Doesn't do very much. Got a shrug? He felt her. It's nice to have somebody to bring you soup if you're feeling sick, isn't it? Attack potion maybe over... Let's see, the artifact potion is like free strength. I guess over energy potion is alright. Energy potion's gonna have some trouble with choker anyway. Attack Potion will have trouble with Choker sometimes, too. Why are common cards so much better than starter cards? 
give you a reason to take them, probably. If you abuse a bug to play with zero cards and you get that event, I don't know what happens. I don't think you have to abuse a bug to play with zero cards. I think you can like actually just play with zero cards. You just have to remove them all. It also can never ask for bottled cards, so you could even have a deck that did have cards in it, but only cards which were bottled. like a rough one. Alrighty. Gamtor, hello. Hey, Ardek. I know a lot about this game. Do I play it often? Is this like a pickup line? Incredible. I guess I've been known to play the game a couple of times. I figured adventure thanks for the six months. You guy ray. So we go this way, we fight lots of elites at the end of the act. We hope that our reapers keep things working well for us. Sorry to fanboy out Twitch chat, but I'm impressed by your copy pastas and the ability to copy and paste them. Whoa! Oh, I thought that letter opener was going to go off there. Turns out I've only played two skills, so that was. <laughs> This really worked that way. Whoops. I played Reaper first, probably. Nah, eh, it doesn't matter. Essence of Steel for four plated armor. You can take the Metallicize and the Essence of Steel. I will take the Metallicize. And then I could have three procs of Juggernaut every turn. Incredible. Outstanding. Amazing. Your first time catching a stream live and you're already a meme. Oh. Don't be mean, Twitch chat. Unless that's a good thing, I don't know, I've lost track. Any extra credits? I 
Thanks for the little raid. Welcome in, everybody. How y'all doing? Playing a little of the old Slay the Spire here. Not sure if y'all have heard of it. I can upgrade my demon farm. Yeah? Yeah? Yeah. Alright. This is the first run of the day. It's going all right. I have made it to the heart nine times in a row on Ascension 20. And hopefully this will be the 10th. The run is not without any problems, but it's like, it's doing pretty swell. Got double Reaper with some strength scaling. And a magic flower, so that's something. You want someone to host again to see the animation again? I can just replay the animation. Really cool animation. This is from Streamlabs. Streamlabs did the video, and Jake, who actually designed all of the appearances of the Chroma Wizards, did the sound for it. Multi talented. friend of yours. A friend of yours asked you when one is considered good at Slay the Spire. I'll let you know if I ever get to a point where I think I'm good at this game. I make so many mistakes still. This game is hard. This is not an easy game. I think Power Potion might be better than 4 Plated Armor. Especially against um, Time Eater. If it was a weakened one first, maybe I'd go with the Plated Armor. Take the one strength here and take six damage, that's fine. I'm gonna hold on to both of the Reapers until I've actually taken damage in the fight, because I think I'm going to. I think I'm probably gonna go to less than full health at some point here. Is this a regular run with custom icons? This is... There are no mods at all here. It's on the beta branch though, so if you're used to playing the game on the main branch, that might be why you're seeing stuff that you don't recognize. If I play two attacks, I get an Unchaku energy and get to shrug as well. That seems alright. I think I kill here. Easily, right? Oh, very easily, actually.
I couldn't work out what Jorbs' box was. Extra credits. But yeah, I guess so. Here I am. I'm stuck. Help. Let me out. Gotcha. I think the demon form upgrade's pretty important, and then we can recall at the last uh, campfire. Which means that it would be better not to take like 300 damage in this fight. If at all possible. Was that? Was there any universe where what I just did was right? I'm not sure that there is. Um, let's see what this hits. Okay. That's very unfortunate. Also entirely my fault. I just played that wrong. Alright. See if we can uh, work our way back to some semblance of not dead here somehow. Gonna be a bit of an awkward uh, next floor. Take Havoc or Warcry if I didn't have Choker, but when I do have Choker, I don't think they're right. Got a recall. I can heal on the boss fight. Sure, I mean, why not? Wait, I actually can though? <laughs> this is a pretty decent turn one. Havoc is my sixth card, it would work. Should we chill out here? I think we chill out here. That's probably right to bash. Unfortunately, I take six instead of one or zero. This seems important because now this heals me for a ton. Unless I want to not even play Reaper this turn. It's pretty greedy. 
Maybe energy potion this turn, huh? Energy potion seems all right. Get the demon form in play, play the reaper, and play the sword boomerang and the shrug. Block Red Skull taking away three strength from you with Artifact. That's what people are talking about, right? I could also have just blocked the three strength from Mutagens going away. It didn't really matter which one I blocked, they're both three strength. My cat is in a paper bag. Never change, Cap. I'm playing Bash here, if it was possible. Cool. This turn right here, 13 times 3 attack. This turn sucks a little bit. Maybe I don't want to play other cards. Leaves me with three attacks, which will be enough to kill, given that I'm not going to be weak next turn. Would form cards be good if they were restricted to one per deck? I mean, one of them would be good. The second one would be pretty bad, though. Meow, 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 That updated, right? It doesn't say I'm doing that anymore. Because I'm playing Slay the Spire. It's actually a pretty sweet fight for us because there are two enemies, so our Reapers heal for twice as much. Speaking of... I don't know. Do I use this now? Playing Shockwave seems pretty good too. I'll use it now. It just seems sort of difficult to die from 71. And less difficult to die from less than 71. Does streaming feel like a job to me? What does a job feel like? It is my job. So... Sometimes I don't want to stream that much, but I do because it's my job. Other times I'm pretty happy to do it.
That thing I said about not thinking I could die from 71 health or whatever may have been misinformed. Am I exactly dead? No, I can't be. No, I'm exactly dead. If your job feels like shit and makes you miserable every day, like... Maybe... I don't know. I don't know. Sometimes it's hard to get a job you want, right? But it is also possible to have a job that doesn't make you feel that way. So. We lose. That's my fault. I played the Reptomancer fight wrong. Defeat death. Would I have lived if I didn't play the Reaper? I decided to and played the one I got the next turn. I would have had less strength the next turn. So probably not. <laughs> 